it's about May uh, 12th, right in the middle of the old vegetable garden here at Mountain Gardens. Uh, this is a little biennial that we grow. It sort of self sows around, actually. So this is a uh, woad, Isotis tinctoria, a famous blue dye plant. Uh, it's the one that druids painted themselves blue with for magical or whatever purposes. And but it's also a fairly important Chinese medicinal herb in the category of clear heat, uh, clear fire, reduce fire toxin, cool the blood, all those things. So it's like an antibiotic antimicrobial. Both the leaf and the root are used. They got two separate herb names, but they're right adjacent to each other in the uh, pharmacy, but they're just slightly different uses. This one benefits the throat more than the root. So this is Da Qingye, big green leaf. That would be the above ground part of the herb, and the root is called Ban Lan Gun. Uh, so this makes a blue dye, as I said, there are several plants that make a blue dye that can be used interchangeably for Da Qingye and Ban Lan Gun. Uh, that would include Japanese indigo, which we grow, and we'll probably make a film of it at some point. That's a knotweed family. This one here is mustard family, Cruciferae, Brassica, uh, which you can see, if we find a good one, four petals. The signature of the crucifers. Uh, so the other plants that are interchangeable for it, they all make a blue dye and they all can be this uh, antibiotic herb, Ban Lan Gun and Da Qingya. And those would be uh, Japanese indigo, which is in the knotweed family, Polygonum tinctoria. So that's in the knotweed family, and then in the legume family is the true indigo, indigo for a tinctoria, which was, which is not hardy here. It was grown as a plantation crop uh, in South Carolina, same part of the country where they're growing sesame and rice. None of that stuff will grow here, South Carolina low country. But that was a major crop for years until the uh, development of chemical dyes. So all three of these, even though they're from three totally different families, they all make a blue dye, and they're all a medicinal herb. Obviously, the, whatever makes the blue dye is the medicinal part. And in fact, uh, we have in our herb shop extracted blue powder, which is the extract of this plant. So it's a biennial, uh, just average garden conditions. We're right here in the middle of the old vegetable garden. It'll sow itself very readily, makes a lot of quite big seeds. You might want to actually control how much it sows itself. First year you get a little rosette, second year it does this. And this is, as I said, about May 12th. So we'll photograph it once more when the seeds are ripe. Thank you.